This is AP News Minute. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo says the U.S. has carried out military strikes in Iraq and Syria. Defense Secretary Mark Esper says they targeted an Iraqi militia that's backed by Iran and blamed for killing an American. North Korean media says Kim Jong-un is calling for an unspecified offensive to protect his country's security and sovereignty. North Korea wants the Trump administration to make major concessions and nuclear talks before the end of the year. Police in Texas say armed and trained parishioners returned fire, killing a gunman in a church. Sunday, a pair of parishioners in the church were killed. Police have yet to name the gunman. And a man has pleaded not guilty in a stabbing attack at a Hanukkah gathering north of New York City. Grafton Thomas is charged with five counts of attempted murder, plus a count of burglary. The Texas church deacon who fatally shot a gunman Sunday says he killed evil. Jack Wilson fired a single shot, quickly ending the attack. Two church members were also killed. Hanukkah stabbing attack suspect Grafton Thomas is now charged with federal hate crimes. He's also charged with five counts of attempted murder for the attack north of New York City. A 16-year-old mountain climber has survived a 500-foot fall on Oregon's Mount Hood. Rescue crews placed a splint on his leg and brought him down the mountain in a stretcher that slides on the snow. And cities around the world are ringing in the new year. Auckland, New Zealand was the first major one to welcome 2020. President Trump has ordered 750 more soldiers deployed to the Middle East. This follows an attack on the U.S. Embassy in Iraq, which the U.S. blames on Iran. Australia is deploying military ships and aircraft to help communities that are dealing with devastating wildfires. The flames have forced thousands to flee their homes and run to the shoreline. Six gang members have been arrested in the shooting deaths of four people in Fresno, California. Gunmen opened fire on a backyard gathering, killing the four back in November. And people around the world have welcomed the year 2020. Massive crowds packed into New York's Times Square to watch the famous ball drop. U.S. Army soldiers from the 82nd Airborne Division out of Fort Bragg, North Carolina, have begun deploying to the Middle East, this following the attack on the U.S. Embassy in Iraq by Iranian-supported militiamen. Australia's Prime Minister confirms that 17 people are missing amid wildfire evacuations in Victoria State. The massive fires in that region have destroyed hundreds of homes. Taiwan's top military officer and six other people were killed in an Air Force helicopter crash. The general was in charge of Taiwan's defense against potential threats from China. Central Florida authorities say 10 cars were shot while driving along two interstates. Nobody was hurt. News outlets quote the Volusia County Sheriff's Office as saying a BB or pellet gun apparently caused the damage. A U.S. airstrike in Baghdad killed Iran's top general. The U.S. said the general was planning attacks against American diplomats and service members. Iran's supreme leader vowed harsh retaliation for the killing. Soldiers from the Army's 82nd Airborne Division arrived in Kuwait. President Trump has ordered hundreds of troops to the region amid escalating tensions. Tens of thousands of people are being told to leave parts of Australia due to wildfires. Navy ships are picking up some people from beaches, and firefighters are escorting convoys of evacuees down roads. The Utah Department of Transportation triggered an avalanche east of Salt Lake City. They did it to prevent larger and more dangerous snowslides in the area.